to meet their own needs there are four dimension to sustainable development society environment culture and economy which are intertwined not separate sustainability is a paradigm for thinking about the future in which environmental societal and economic considerations are balanced in the pursuit of to our honorable principal ma'am respected teachers and my fellow friends as a student of green panther club i akriti vadwani is here to tell you about our topic sustainable development the concept of sustainable development was described by 1987 brutland commission report as development that meets the need of present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet our Hi everyone I am Ishita Sharma from grade 7A today I will be telling you about global warming the topics I will cover in this PPT are what is global warming what is the greenhouse effect how greenhouse gases are responsible for global warming how we are increasing global warming how global warming is leading to the downhill of environment and how we can help to decrease global warming Let us start with what is global warming. Global warming is the increase of the average temperature of earth. It is the heating of the earth day by day and is impacting our planet and our personal lives gradually. We don't even notice this change. To understand what actually causes global warming, it is important for us to know what is the greenhouse effect. There are three greenhouse gases: the carbon dioxide, methane, and the nitrous oxide. These gases react and bond with each other to form a invisible shield this shield uh, lets the heat to come inside but doesn't let the heat out this is really helpful but it also can be harmful if the gases go in excess so the greenhouse effect takes place in the earth's atmosphere when these gases get collected from smoke coming from vehicles factories etc the heat comes in and gets trapped and this process is repeating as the result the average temperature of the earth is increased how are we unknowingly contributing to global warming we are cutting trees and leading to deforestation trees absorb carbon dioxide and deforestation that means less trees and that means less absorption of carbon dioxide we use different vehicles to travel short distances and vehicles emit a lot of smoke which contains carbon dioxide and even other gases we are planting a lot of factories which release greenhouse gases as a waste we all use electric appliances that require a lot of energy and again the waste is carbon dioxide and with the help of many other daily activities we are slowly contributing to the greenhouse effect so what is the impact of global warming on our environment the in the past century global warming resulted in increase of 1 degree temperature in average so this seems like a very small number but it has impacted our lives a lot it is thought that by the end of the 21st century global warming will result an increase of temperature by 2 to 5 degrees isn't this a big number global warming is slowly melting down all the snow present on earth imagine the earth without any snow and also because of these climatic changes all the species especially living on the poles are slowly being extinct that's why it is thought that the penguins and many other animals that are living in the poles will be extinct soon the earth is also becoming more polluted and harmful day by day so how can we help to overcome global warming so we must try to plant at least one tree a month it is important as it will just increase the greenery of our environment and help a lot we must try to travel by bicycles or other vehicles that do not em emit smoke for traveling short distances we must try to use less electrical appliances as possible and we must try to be eco friendly we must also tell others what are the problems created because of our daily habits like these so that they also try to follow all these steps
Thank you everyone. Hope you enjoyed my presentation. Improved quality of life. Thank you. Good morning everyone. So now with this PPT we are going to see that how sustainable development help us to save our mother earth. So now let us first go with what is sustainable development. Sustainable development is an organizing principle for meeting human development goals while also sustaining the ability of natural systems to provide the natural resources and ecosystem services on which the economy and society depend. Ways to be sustainable in everyday life. Bring your reusable coffee mug to the shop. I don't know why I never thought of this before, but it's genius. Bring bags to the grocery. Get reusable produce bags. Store food in reusable containers. Get a metal straw. Recycle. Use a reusable water bottle. Compost old food. So. Now, the benefits of sustainable development to the nature. It helps in the sustainable management of the means and resources. It helps to ensure a bright future for the future generation. It focuses on the environment conservation. It helps the equalization, mobilization and conservation of means and resources. Now, the three R's. Waste managing and waste treatment procedure. The three R's rule. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce unnecessary consumption and stop generating more and more waste. Reuse everything you can or give usable things to the other person, institutions to use it. So now, what are the goals of sustainable development? The sustainable development goals or global goals are collection of 17 internal global goals designed to be a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. The SDGs were set up in 2015 by the United Nations General Assembly and are intended to be achieved by the year 2030. So now these are the 17 sustainable development goals which have been given by UN. So now I am going to list these all the 17 goals one by one. No poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitization, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry innovation and infrastructure, Reduced inequality, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace, justice and strong institutions. Partnership for the goals. So now, who introduced sustainable development to the world first? It's also most important part of sustainable development. It was first used by John L. Kington, the founder of sustainability consultancy firm. The expression means that companies should consider three different bottom lines in their businesses and not only as was usual at the time and still is in many companies today. Care about the pro profit and loss account. So these are the beautiful words said by John Elkington. So you could call me optimistic and hopeful and probably just a little bit native. But I am coming from the space that the best way to predict the future is to get out of there and just do it yourself. So now the end of the PPT and this PPT is made by Green Panthers Club guided by Vandana Vashishta. Thanks for watching into electrical energy and makes the use of the greatest most sustainable resource on the planet sunlight what is crop rotation crop rotation is a practice of growing a series of different types of crops in the same area across a sequence of growing seasons it reduces reliance on one set of nutrients pest and weight pressure and the probability of developing resistant pests and weeds. While crop rotation is sustainable, crop rotations can benefit other soil conservation methods. Our research shows that diversifying the crops grown can provide increased benefit to current sustainable practices used on the farm such as application of manure or conservation tillage, snap says. Why is water efficient fixtures? The most common water efficient appliances include dishwashers and cloth washing machines. Popular fixtures include toilet, shower heads and faucets. They can simply use less water while yielding comparable performance. 
example that is low flow shower heads why water efficient fixtures are sustainable water fixtures installing water fittings that are more efficient reduces indoor water consumption by 55 percent this will help both save water and energy water conserving pressure reducing walls and water flow regulators will also save help save on water consumption that brings me to the end of my presentation thank you all Greetings everyone and good morning to the respected teachers. I am Tanisha Sharma from grade 9. Today I will be going to discuss you sustainable development with you. Pillars of sustainable development. There are four pillars of sustainable development that are human, economic, social and environment. Now let's see examples of sustainable development. Wind energy, solar energy, crop rotation, water efficient fixtures and etc. What is wind energy? Wind power or wind energy is the use of wind turbines to generate electricity. Wind power is a popular sustainable renewable energy source that has a much smaller impact on the environment than burning fossil fuels. Why wind energy is sustainable? Wind energy is a source of renewable energy. It does not contaminate, it is inexhaustible and reduces the use of fossil fuels, which are the origin of greenhouse gases that cause global warming. For these reasons, reducing electricity through wind energy and its efficient use contribute to sustainable development. What is solar energy? Solar energy is radiant light and heat from the sun that is harnessed using a range of technologies such as solar power to generate electricity, solar thermal energy including water heating and solar architecture. Why solar energy is sustainable? Solar energy is naturally more sustainable than fossil fuel energy sources and it is more environmentally sustainable. It converts the sun's energy into electrical energy and makes the use of the greatest most sustainable resource on the planet sunlight. What is crop rotation? Crop rotation is a practice of growing a series of different types of crops in the same area across a sequence of growing seasons. It reduces reliance on one set of nutrients, pests and weight pressure and the probability of developing resistant pests and weeds. While crop rotation is sustainable,
Hello, I am Anthi Tewari from class 9 and speaking for Green Panthers Club. Thermal pollution is any devastation from the natural temperature in our habitat and can range from elevated temperature associated with industrial cooling activities to discharge of cold water into streams below large impoundments. Is heat a bad thing or a good thing for the environment? From a waste management perspective, heat is both friend and foe. Chapters on the implication and application of thermal energy in waste direct thermal pollution. For waste manager, the challenge of heat is incremental. Notwithstanding a major disaster, such an explosion is an incinerator. It is all most likely the waste management approach will contribute heat to a system. The added thermal energy can lead to adverse change in ecosystem conditions. Diminishing the integrity of system, heat is also an indirect pollutant. If not operated properly, any use of heat including the same technologies used to treat waste can form very toxic chemical compound. Most industrial processes make ample use of chemical reactions at high temperature, which not only release excess heat to the environment but often generate chemical pollutants. Organisms and ecosystems survive within a range of environmental conditions. Considering the streams in temperature on the other planet for which we have data the Earth's temperature range is quite small. The temperature tolerance of even the most adaptive Earth-born creature are quite tight. Thus, one of the key factors in public health and environment conditions is the temperature range. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Mr. Chaudhary from class 9 and speaking about transforming our world, the 2030 agenda for sustainable development. This agenda is a plan of action for people, planet and prosperity. It also seeks to strengthen universal peace in a larger freedom. All countries and all stakeholders acting in a collaborative partnership will implement this plan. We resolve to free the human race from the tragedy of poverty and want to heal and secure our planet. People, we are determined to end poverty and hunger in all their forms and dimensions to ensure that all human beings can fulfill their potential in dignity and equality in a healthy environment. Planet, we are determined to protect the planet from degradation including through sustainable consumption and production. Sustainable Sustainability management is a natural resource and taking urgent action on climate change so that it can support the needs of the present and future generations. Prosperity. We are determined to ensure that all human beings can enjoy prosperous and fulfilling lives and the economic, social and technical process occur in harmony with nature. Peace. We are determined to foster peaceful and just the inclusive societies which are free from fear and violence. There can be no sustainable development without peace and no peace. Sustainable. Hey everyone, my name is Chetna Meena and I am the student from class 9 Beacons. On the behalf of Sustainable Development and Green Panthers Club, I came here to tell you about water pollution. What is water pollution? Water pollution is a major contamination of water bodies like lakes, rivers, etc. This occurs when pollutants are directly or indirectly discharged into the water bodies. Introduction Water pollution is a major global cause which requires ongoing evolution. It suggests that it is a leading worldwide cause of death. More than 14,000 people die every day. An estimated 540 people die in India every day due to water pollution. So, my presentation introduces you the various causes, effects and prevention of this burning problem. Sources of water pollution Sewage leakage, waste dumped into the water bodies, animal and human waste. Measures to prevent water pollution There should be proper check in water bodies. Waste should not, should not be thrown. Throwing industrial waste should be prohibited. Thank you. No peace without sustainable development. Good morning, good morning. I Ishan Sharma of Green Panthers Club is here in front of you to present my project and its topic is health effects of air pollution.
The topic of our club is sustainable development. Sustainable development is an organizing principle for meeting human development goals while also sustaining the stability of natural systems that provides natural resources and ecosystem services on this the economy and social defense. The desired result is a state of society where living conditions and resources are used to continue the meet of human needs without undermining the stability of natural system. Sustainable development can be defined as development that met the need of present way of compromising the future generation to meet their own needs. Air pollution. The Clean Air Act required EPA to set national ambient air quality standards NAQS for six common air pollutions also known as criteria air pollutants. These pollutants are found all over the US from and some from man-made sources. They can harm your health and the environment and cause property damage. Criteria of air pollutants carbon monoxide, lead, ground level ozone, particular matter, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide. Carbon monoxide, incomplete oxidization of carbon results in the production of carbon monoxide. Natural CO2 formation is that photochemical reactions in the transfer volcano, forest fire, etc. Breathing air with high concentration of CO reduces the amount of oxygen that can be transported in the bloodstream and circulated organs like the heart and brain. It at very high levels which are possible in those or in other enclosed environments. CO2 can cause dizziness and confession, unconsciousness and death. Lead. Source of lead emission vary from one area to another. At the national level, major source of lead in the area are coal and metals processing and piston engines, aircraft operating, related aviation fuel. Other sources are waste in centers, utility cells, and lead acid batteries manufactured. Highest air concentration of lead are usually found near lead smelters. Ground level ozone. Ozone is found in the atmosphere when intrinsic ultraviolet UV radiation dissociates molecular walls of oxygen O2 into separate atoms. Free oxygen atoms can recombine to form oxygen molecule. But if a free oxygen atom O2 collides with oxygen molecule O2, it joins a forming ozone O3. Ozone. Breathing ozone can trigger a variety of health problems, particular in children, the elderly and people all ages who have lung disease such as asthma. Ground level ozone can also have harmful effects on sensitive vegetation and ecosystem. Particular matter. Particular matter contains microscopic solids or liquid droplets that are so small that they can be inhaled and causes serious health problem. Nitrous oxide. Nitrogen dioxide NO2 is N, one of the group of highly reactive gases known as oxides of nitrogen and nitrogen oxide. 
although some is naturally occurring NO2 primarily gets in the air from a burning of wood. NO2 forms from assumption from cars, trucks and buses, power plants and off-road equipments. Sulfur oxide, the sulfur source of SO2 in atmosphere is the burning of fossil fuels by power plant and other industrial facilities. Smaller sources of SO2 assumption includes in industrial processes such as extracting metals from ores, natural sources such as volcanoes and locomotive ships and other vehicles and heavy equipment that burn fuels with higher sulfur content. Sulfur oxide at high concentration gases SO2 can harm trees and plants by damaging for foliage and decreasing growth can contribute to acid rain which can harm sensitive ecosystem. Short term exposure to SO2 can harm the human respiratory system and make breathing difficult. Children, the elderly and those who suffer from asthma are particularly sensitive to I am Gunja Jarwal from grade 9th B. So, this is Orsimum teniflorum, commonly known as Holy Basil or Tulsi. It is a medical plant which can grow up to the height of 1 to 3 feet tall. Tulsi has its native from the Indian subcontinent and is widespread throughout the Asian tropics. Tulsi is considered one of the most holiest herb in the Hinduist Hindu religion. Tulsi is found in is available in every Indian household. Tulsi have been used in med as a medicine from ancient times, that is the reason it has been in, in India for more than 5000 years. Tulsi have, is also known for its healing effect on mind, body and soul. Tulsi is also helpful in curing different diseases and skin problems such as acne, blackheads. Thank you. Good morning all of you. My name is Piyush Chaudhary and I am studying 11th class of science group in SRL International School. And my topic is land pollution. First of all, pollution. Pollution is the introduction of harmful material into the environment. They can also be created by human activities such as factories, damage the quality of air, water, and land. Land pollution. The presence of toxic chemicals in its soil. It occurs mainly due to the indirect and direct effect of human activities. Cost of land pollution. Human activities are the main cause of land pollution. The spreading of plant protection products such as pesticides and herbicides as well as the emission of livestock, buildings and farms are at the origin of soil pollution. In particular by the nitrogen and phosphates. Effect on your environment occur in your, your environment is very badly affected by land pollution. Soil erosion and defoliation caused by soil and land pollution lead to landslides and mudslides. Land pollution can affect humanity in many ways. It can cause birth, affect the development of breathing, skin disease and cancer. Land pollution can affect animal to eat, force animals to change their habitat and that could lead to their extension. Reduce land pollution. Reuse and recycle to control land pollution. Refortration and affortration should practiced. Farmer should use organic fertilization. Adopt integrated past management.